a male in his 60s presents with a few month history of abdominal pain. He has a post contrast CT of his abdomen and pelvis in a pulsar venous phase. Can you see the abnormalities? Let's go through the case. There are a couple of abnormalities on this scan. The first involves the proximal stomach. Here there is mural thickening involving the gastric fundus. We can see there is extension beyond the wall of the stomach into the spleen. This means we're dealing with an aggressive lesion and suggests an underlying malignancy. We need to consider an underlying primary gastric carcinoma, although this more often affects the distal stomach. Now there is another abnormality. When we look at these loops of jejunum further down on the left side of the abdomen, we can see this slightly dilated loop which shows a long segment of mural thickening. Notice how there isn't any reduction in calibre of the bowel lumen and there isn't a significant upstream small bowel dilatation to represent obstruction. Although pathology like Crohn's disease and infection can cause mural thickening of the small bowel, given the abnormality we've seen in the stomach, we need to think about small bowel tumours. But what small bowel tumours are there? Carcinoid tumours aren't common, but are the most common small bowel tumour. These commonly involve the distal ileum and the primary lesion can be small. They can present on imaging with a larger mesenteric mass with desmoplastic reaction and distortion of adjacent small bowel loops. There can be lymph node enlargement and liver metastases. Small bowel adenocarcinoma can cause similar imaging features to colonic adenocarcinoma, which is far more common. On imaging like the colonic version, you get circumferential mural thickening with shouldering potentially causing obstruction. Gastrointestinal stromal tumours or GISTs are more common in the stomach but can involve the small bowel as well. These usually present as a large exophytic mass, not usually causing obstruction. Small bowel lymphoma can present with mural thickening and aneurysmal dilatation of the involved bowel segment. Obstruction isn't common as like large bowel lymphoma, the bowel lumen calibre usually isn't reduced. There can be enlarged lymph nodes and splenomegaly. Given the morphology of the small bowel thickening, we need to consider lymphoma involving both stomach and small bowel. PET-CT is commonly used to stage lymphoma and shows intense FDG avidity within the large gastric mass, as well as within an avid node in the retroperitoneum within the left paraortic region, and avidity all the way through the segment of small bowel thickening. An OGD confirms a diagnosis of lymphoma. Remember to include lymphoma in your differential when you see a bowel tumour that doesn't reduce the calibre of the lumen.